Growing up in the 90s, your clothes came from Kmart and they stayed on layaway until school started. Yeah, some kids would pray every night that their pants didn't go out of style before they got them. Except for me. My mom only got me hand-me-downs. And I was the oldest. She just only shopped at thrift stores. Eating out at a restaurant was a special occasion. Fast food, that was yesterday's dinner reheated in the microwave. Eating popsicles on a hot day was like winning the lottery, except all you got was a brain freeze. We had candy cigarettes, because nothing says healthy lifestyle like mimicking a Marlboro man at seven years old. And for a buck, you could get enough sugar to fuel a small army. <laughs> School was mandatory, like prison, but without the conjugal visits. You got home, stripped off those school clothes faster than a stripper with a mortgage and threw on your play clothes, which were just your school clothes from last year that didn't fit right. Mm. If no one was home after school, you just went to the neighbors. Nobody paid for daycare. We had something called a house key. You let yourself in, and if you got bored, you found something to do or else your parents found something for you. And trust me, their ideas were never fun. We ate dinner at the table, not in front of a screen. Our house phone wasn't always being used because it was attached to the wall like a prisoner on house arrest. We played cops and robbers, red light, green light, dodgeball, basically a list of activities designed to injure children. Girls and boys played in the street and we all came home when the street lights came on. It was like a universal curfew enforced by Thomas Edison. Children were seen and not heard. Staying in the house was a punishment. Today it's a lifestyle. And boredom? That was met with... You better find something to do before I find something for you. And like I said, you knew that there's something involved chores or a trip to the hardware store that lasted an eternity. Dinner was what mom made or you went hungry. There were no menu options. Boiled water? Ha! We drank from the tap. Or if you were feeling adventurous, the garden hose. Adding a hint of rubber to your H2O. We remembered phone numbers or scribbled them down on scraps of paper. Cell phones were as mythical as unicorns. Cartoons were only on Saturday mornings, and we rode our bikes for hours, a two-wheeled ticket to freedom. We were afraid of nothing, except our parents. We watched our mouths around elders, and if we didn't, we got the belt, the switch, or the wooden paddle. The holy trinity of discipline. These were the good old days, folks. Kids today will never know how it feels to be a real kid. They'll never understand my childhood. They've got everything on demand, yet they're the ones who are truly missing out. That completes my look back on growing up in the 90s, the era where the only thing worse than a participation trophy was not surviving the childhood to get one.